Good morning, Glacier. It's Thursday, March 4th. I'm Ty. And I'm Shell. And here is your GTV episode and daily announcements. As the swim team prepares to compete at the state meet this weekend, we would like to share our staff spotlight on Coach Karen Buda. Life. Well, this year has been extremely challenging because we don't have a lot of competitions on our on our schedule. So right now we have three meets, and then we have some what they're calling virtual meets, where we'll be able to um, swim our events in our home pool and then turn in our times. So, you know, we're just trying to um, create a good team unity and team atmosphere. So, um, we're we're making the best of it, you know, in a in a tough situation. I mean, this year has just been a big challenge so if there's anything I could change it would be like to snap my fingers and say no pandemic no then we'd be back in business right it'd be um, business as usual I think it's been really tough not only on our athletes but on their parents as well because you know we've had a few parents being able to watch because they've had official roles as timers or referees but we haven't been able to have spectators and I think that's that's been really tough you know so um, you know, I think you just kind of have to roll. I think that's one of the things athletics teaches you and, and extracurricular activities. You just have to roll with the circumstances you're given. And you can choose to either, you know, take the positive and try to build on that um, and minimize the negative, or you can kind of, you know, feel sorry for yourself and wallow in it. So I don't think that's good for anybody. I think um, you look at your circumstances and you say, well, uh, how do I press forward? How do we move forward in a positive way? And the team has been really great. We've had some good leadership from our captains and um, the kids in general have been really positive. I love Coach K. She um, makes it so easy. Uh, we get along great, we've got a good staff, um, she is fun to work with, she uh, has fun with us, she has fun with the swimmers, um, and she just she just works so hard to make sure the season is amazing. Coach K was uh, my coach when I was in high school too, um, obviously not for high school, but in club, and she can definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Um, but that's one reason why she's so respected by the team. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's really awesome having Coach K as um, our head coach. She takes care of everything ahead of time and she's extremely thorough. She just, she'll go above and beyond. Thanks, Drew, for the rest of the story on your mom. And best of luck to the swim team this weekend. And now a special message from the Gigi FECC Running Star Coordinator, Shelly e. Eberhardy. Hi, I'm Shelly Eberhardy from Flathead Valley Community College. I'm one of the academic advisors that works with Running Start students. Uh, just wanted to let you all know that you do have six free college credits through the Running Start program. Uh, we have several dual enrollment opportunities at Glacier High School. Uh, the summer registration opens for Running Start on March 1st and fall registration begins on May 4th. Um, so I'm here at Glacier High School on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm located in the B200 porch. Um, so feel free to sign up for a time at the Career Center and we can talk about Running Start. Thanks. And here's what you, you need, need to, know. to know. We'd like to explain a new tradition called Great Work Tokens. We want to kick off Make Your Mark March with our Great Work Recognition Tokens. Here's a quick rundown of how these tokens will work. Each teacher has received 10 tokens to distribute over the next three themed months. When a staff member sees a student doing extraordinary work that aligns with the themed month, a teacher can recognize that student by giving the student a great work token. Student's name will be put in, in, in for a drawing at the end of the month. In May, we will announce that students who have earned tokens may turn them in for a larger drawing that will take place at the end of the year. Seniors, don't delay, apply today. The March scholarship links can be found on the Glacier High School Career Center webpage. Please stop by the Career Center if you have questions or need help. Last week of open gyms for Wolfpack softball, defensive drills on Saturday from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Take advantage of these final opportunities and to get better 
or, or before the tryouts on March 15th. Go Wolfpack! Attention sophomores and juniors. Check out Flathead Valley's Community College's Summer Experience Program. It's part of Running Start and available for free to all incoming juniors and seniors. Summer Experience is offered June 21st to July 23rd with classes scheduled for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday mornings for the five weeks on FVCC's campus. If interested, please attend the informational meeting on Monday, March 8th, or Monday, March 15th in the GHS conference room during lunch. You can also schedule an appointment with our Running Start advisor by signing up in the Career Center. Congrats to our boys basketball team with their huge upset win over defending co-state champions Missoula Hellgate. More on that tomorrow. Also, we want to give a huge shout out to the boys freshman basketball team who went undefeated and the boys sophomore team who won 10 of their 11 games. The future is bright. Best of luck to the Wolfpack girls basketball team in their playoff game with Helena High and GHS Gym today. The game will be streamed live on the NFHS network and on 103.9 FM, The Monster. Go Wolfpack! All the announcements in GTV episodes can be found on the school website. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to respect yourself, respect others, and respect the ability. And, and remember, remember the three W's, W's of the Wolfpack way. Wash your hands, wash your, your distance, distance, and wear a mask. mask.